on it. This video is all about fly screens. So we're gonna turn this to this. Right then, so this arrived uh, this morning. This is my new fly screen from um, Vandal. What have we got in there? Got an instruction guide. Um, look like some little little clamps by the look of it. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, some little clamps. Um, and then the fly screen. Looking at it, I mean, it's pretty good quality. Um, I'll be honest, you can buy stuff from Amazon and eBay for about 14 quid um, and then fit it yourself, sort of cut it, cut it to fit sort of thing, but they don't last very long, if I have to be honest. This is about middle of the road because I've seen one from Ridgeline was like 350 quid um this one was just over 100 um and it's a it's a permanent fixture it has two zips either side and then you can roll it up so um all right what we're going to do is um go outside and fit it okay as i said i got this from a company called vandor um it's one of the middle price range screens. You can get them cheaper, as I said on, uh, earlier, on eBay and Amazon. Um, you can get cheap ones for like 14 quid. Um, and you can magnet, put magnets all the way around. And they're all right, they're all right, but they're not very good. This is purpose built. Um, I've seen others for like 300 odd, so it's worth, it's worth looking into this one. So we're gonna give this a try and fit it today. Um, I'll probably put it uh, Benny Hill style. Um, uh, without the scantily clad ladies, of course. Um, a word of note, my wife used to be a Bendy Hill dancer. <laughs> yeah, that's all you're gonna get. Um, right, so let's get cracking. It's the first time I've taken it out, so I don't actually know what the quality's like yet. But it looks pretty good to me. Um, Right, according to the instructions, um, this goes on the inside, so it goes, so it's going to hang like that. So the walkthrough side is on the outside, yeah? And then all this, what we're going to do is we're going to pull, we're going to pull the um, rubber mount away. Yeah, a bit at a time, not all of it, because you'll have a nightmare getting it back on again. So we'll start at the top, we'll clamp it either side so it takes the weight, and then we'll, we'll start up the top. They give you these little, um, so I'm looking here, they give you these little clamps, yeah, which basically what you do, you feed it under the metal, pull the rubber out, feed it under the metal, and then push these clamps in, it just helps to secure it, and then tap the rubber back. Um, at the top and then basically you just go all the way around making sure it's a nice tight fit. Let's get cracking. Right, a little break there it's not too bad it's um 
it's a little bit awkward because obviously when you pull it down um, it flops out so I think the best thing to do is to get the whole lot in first and then start taking the bits off putting those little clamps in because they don't they're not that strong so um, we'll carry on so far so good I've got it sort of pretty vertical just need to get the other side done right this is my first attempt obviously but i think my zip my zip there is a little bit too close i've got i've got a fair bit of room that side so i might just adjust it slightly uh and get it so it sort of comes even though that's in the middle i think i prefer the zip to be just about an inch or two over that side but I mean, that's only taken me, that's only taken me a couple of minutes. It's not that bad. I'm going to unzip it and uh, it might be easier to work with unzipped. Oh no, scrub that. As you can see also, it's got double, it's got double catches. So you can put the blackout screen up and keep the fly screen down yeah like that and then enter as you say through the magnetic bits or you can unzip it and lift the whole lot up if you want to do that so uh yeah really great product i'm really pleased with that right that's it there you go i hope you like that um any questions like i say leave a note in the description I'll tell you all about it. It wasn't very difficult. I'm not going to do the video trimming all that up because you can use a knife, can't you? Uh, just get a sharp knife and just trim it all the way down and that'll be a, a permanent job then. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it. Superb. Thanks very much for watching. I'll uh, see you on the next one.